How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about repeaters, and I'm just going to give you a general overview and an actual example. I'm going to actually go for a mountain bike ride up in the mountains and uh, use the repeater that we have in the area to communicate back with my wife here at the cabin. And what I want to do is just give you a brief overview on how repeaters work, and then we're going to hit the trail so that I can actually show it to you out in the field. So basically, you can think of it as this. And guys, I know this isn't like technically uh, exactly how the repeater or what the repeater is going to look like on the mountain, but I just want to give you a visual if you're not familiar with repeaters. Just pretend for a second that there are two radios way up high on a mountain somewhere. One's listening for a communication, and then there's a little connection between the two radios, like a wire, like a link. And then the other radio broadcasts. Uh, so one is receiving on one frequency, and one is broadcasting on another frequency, okay? And the frequency difference between the two is five megahertz. We call that an offset. And there's an actual setting in your GMRS radios called an offset. But here's the thing, all the most modern and most recent uh, GMRS radios, at least the ones that I recommend, already have the repeater channels already configured. So generally speaking, you can go to a repeater channel, GRMS channel, and it's gonna be ready to go uh, with the offset already in for that frequency. So here's an example. I have this uh, Radioddy GM30 Plus. It is set to channel 25, right? So channel 25 is 462600, okay? That's the frequency, 462600 megahertz, okay? Now, when the repeater is sending out a broadcast, this radio is gonna pick it up and I can hear it just like any other communication. The difference is, is when I go to respond and I push the push to talk button and I respond, it's actually gonna broadcast not on 462.6 megahertz, but 467.6 megahertz. Let me give you a quick demonstration of the offset here. So you can see here that we have 462.600 megahertz set. This is channel 25 on the Radioddy GM30 Plus. And if you look at the topmost bank up here, this is the one that we have currently selected on the radio. And so what I'm gonna do is just broadcast real quick so you can see the frequency change with a five megahertz offset because this is a uh, repeater configured channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the broadcast bu button real quick. And you can see that switched to 467.600 megahertz. And that's because it's broadcasting on a different frequency than it's listening for. It's gonna change your frequency temporarily to do the broadcast. And then the repeater up on the mountain is listening on 467.600 to receive that. And then it's gonna automatically rebroadcast out over 462, right? So that's kind of how the repeater system work. It just offsets the frequency a little bit. So what we're gonna do is get the mountain bike together. I'm gonna get a couple radios together. I'm gonna get the base station here, which is just a simple 25 watt mobile uh, unit. Actually, we don't actually have a 50 watt unit here. Um, we have an antenna up on the roof. So my wife will be listening for that communication. And then we're gonna head up to the trails of the mountain bike and uh, just see if we can get a good communication going with that repeater all the way back over here. So let's get rolling and I'll see you in the mountains. Come on, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Almost there, buddy. We'll take a break right up here. I'm in a somewhat remote location, uh, fairly far away, I think just over 10 miles. And we're gonna hit a repeater, just so I can kind of show you the benefit of using a repeater. And I'm a little winded, uh, mountain biked in. Um, I got my partial chest rig on here. I got a little bit of gear with me, your usual stuff. I'm out of shape, y'all. I need to like start exercising and doing these hikes a little bit more. But anyway. Um, And that's the missus right there. This is Whiskey Sad 245. Oh, Crash is now with me. I found Crash. He came walking up the path over. Whiskey Sad 245, come again. This is Whiskey Sad 245. Crash is with me, over. See if I can get a little bit better reception. Just wanted to confirm that you're reading me. Lima Charlie found crash over. Affirmative, you have crash. 
yep, good deal. And we'll be leaving here in just a few minutes, just taking a rest. He's been drinking a lot of water, so I think he was, uh, uh, came from very far away. <laughs> Whiskey, whiskey sad two four five out. And there we go, folks. Um, she's actually on the mobile station out at the house. It's our quote unquote base station, um, and she was able to communicate with me. Right? I mean, I barely have one bar of cell where I'm at right now, so I can send text messages. Um, but obviously, testing the radio is important. I had to kind of get out in the open here a little bit. I was sitting down here by the mountain bike and didn't quite get a good signal and opened up this uh, foldable antenna um, that uh, helped me get a little bit more range out here in the open, you can see. So it's a little bit better out here. This is Whiskey Sad 245, how copy over. That's pretty cool. I'm over here on a hill. I have pretty much straight up line of sight, but it's definitely a couple miles, at least two or three miles, maybe even more. It sounds like you're actually on the property already. It's that clear. Good deal, this is a good test. I'll see you in about 10 minutes or so. Whiskey's had two, four, five out. So there you have it, folks. I was able to communicate over 10 miles using a handheld GRMS radio. And this is with a lot of obstructions and fairly mountainous terrain and hilly terrain. And we definitely did not have a clear line of sight from my handheld back to the cabin by any stretch of the imagination. So a repeater is absolutely necessary in terrain like this. And it will vary depending on where you live and the kind of terrain that is in your area. However, this is just a good demonstration to show the importance importance of using repeaters and how useful they could be during an emergency. And that's kind of the thing that I'm trying to push here on this channel is emergency communications and just prepping in general and having a good communications plan and learning to use repeaters will be essential someday. You won't regret it. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for the next series of videos I'm going to be doing on how to program these radios to actually be able to communicate on repeaters. Really simple to do. So I'm probably going to do a single video to cover a couple different radios and you'll be on your way with using repeaters. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video.